The flexibility of a timing system highly depends on its batteries. Can I just take it up the hill and run it for a couple of hours? Or do I need to bring a car battery, hope for an external power supply or bring meters of power cable? This is why we, during development, put an extra eye on the Ubidium batteries. This is Ubidium. Those are the batteries we chose for Ubidium. Why? Because they are available from different suppliers. You can order spare ones in most regions of the world. And during pre-testing, this model proved to be the most stable one. Each battery has a capacity of approximately 100 watt hours, which means you are allowed to carry it in your luggage when flying, in hand luggage. And those batteries have all certifications, official documents, everything you need. With one battery inserted, we expect a system runtime in active timing mode, so with a loop cable of around 16 hours, with a passive ground antenna connected, with a standard length of six segments, so 4.6 meters, you can expect around six hours of battery life. With two batteries, double time. Now let's insert those batteries and boot the system. You see the transparent cover pushes the battery into the slot and you can only open one slot at a time to not accidentally shut the system down. From the outside, you see the LCD on the batteries, which is always switched on and indicates the battery level. And we even asked our battery supplier to improve the algorithm behind the level shown here to have it even more intuitive for you. The system is switched on now and we can see the level of the batteries here. The arrow indicates that this battery is currently discharged. The logic behind this is the following. The right battery will be discharged first to a level of about 5% remaining. Then the system automatically switches to the left battery, also down to 5% and then back to the right one to completely empty this one. But before this, it would be helpful to have some external source for charging again and the right battery will be charged first. So to sum up, the right battery is kind of your main battery. How long will it take you to recharge the batteries? Well, one battery will be charged from zero to full in around 2.5 hours, two batteries in around three hours, if the device is only charging and not doing other things like timing. Besides the AC input, you will in the future also be able to charge the batteries with USB-C, but you need something like a laptop charger for it, 45 watts minimum. So this phone charger is not enough, unfortunately. You can run the system and charge the batteries also with a car battery connected to DC input. Additionally, we have the PoE power over ethernet mentioned in one of the previous videos. To sum this up, much longer battery life compared to our decoder and compared to most timing systems out there. We have a more reliable battery status reporting here in the display as well as on the battery itself. And we have small batteries, easy to carry and to fly with. If you haven't watched the previous videos of our series, you should do so and then you are ready to go to the next chapter where we'll talk about connectivity. So how to connect Ubidium with your computer, with networks and with Racesal 12 software. See you.